Hello guys, uh, I'm Jimmy Patel, captain of Fairmont Flickers. Uh, three days to go, DPL 2021. Hey guys, welcome to Nick's DPL 2021 and let's see how the teams have made their lineup and remember you guys are playing for this prestige trophy of Nick's DPL 2021 which was provided to us by TJ Awards. So let's look at the lineup for Fairborn Flickers in this video. So as you can see, this lineup is a very balanced lineup wherein which has five batsmen, five good all-rounders followed by five genuine bowlers. This team is heavily balanced with bowlers as you can see right now. So the strength for this team is good five batsmen which will be taking care of the top order and good solid bowlers which can choke up any lineup at any given day. So this would be the strengths and for the weakness which I see in the squad is that they don't have a very good middle order batsman to stay till the very end. Yes, they do have Himanshu Kaushik which is equivalent to Ben Stokes in Dayton Cincinnati tennis ball cricket. However, if the top order fails then the middle order could collapse. So there are heavy chances for that. So to open the innings, number one position would definitely go to Surjit as we all know that how experienced he is in opening the innings and handling the new ball in the power play. And the second batsman, there are five strong categories for that. First one would be Jimmy Patel, second would be Arun Shimoga, third would be Rahul, fourth would be Sumit and fifth would be Naveen. So among these five, I personally see Arun opening the innings with Surjit because they have played together in their local team and with that experience, one can slog and one can stay till the very end which is very important. To overcome the middle order crisis, I think Jimmy should step in at one down position that is at number three because he can handle the pressure and we have all seen is how capable he is and not to forget guys this time the boundary is on the off side as well so he would be a key player to look in the team fourth position which is very very crucial in t10 league should go to himanshu koshik whenever he is available because he can stay till the very end and he can take the role of a finisher for this team. I think number 5 position will be given to Rahul because just to make him as a sandwich between two very experienced players like Himanshu and Naveen so that they can walk him through the entire innings. Then it will be followed by Naveen. So this would be a strong lineup. Now if you look at the bowlers, number 7 position will be given to Shivam Patel because Shivam is a very good batsman as well and he can bowl really really good fast bowling. Number 8 will be definitely given to Venki because he is the fastest bowler in Dayton Cincinnati region. Number 9 bowler would be a very tricky bowler for this team depending upon the conditions because they have really good spinners that is Sahil who is a left arm bowler followed by Harish Reddy who is a very good spinner and he can deceive with his googlies. And there is one more magical break in this that is Mohan Reddy and Rohit Yadav. Mohan Reddy is a debutant for this year and you never know what magic hit he could provide to the team. And I believe whenever Himanshu is not available, Rohit could step up and he could take that position for the team because Rohit has the ability of hitting long sixes and he is a very good deceiving bowler with his slower ones. 
So this is my analysis for Fair One Flickers and how their lineup would look like. So we are coming up with new awards like we promised in the last video so that you guys can comment and whoever tells us most number of right guesses will be awarded a gift from DPL 2021. So the first question for today is which batsman would be the highest run getter for Fairborn Flickers? Second question is which bowler would get most number of wickets for Fairborn Flickers? And a bonus question today is Rohit Yadav or Rohit Yadav how many sixes can he hit in the Knicks DPL 2021? Stay tuned for these answers and don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment Dayton Cricket Vlogs. See you guys. On behalf of the management team, I would like to thank all our sponsors who have contributed in some way in making this event a reality. Our diamond sponsor for this edition of Nix DPL 2021 is Nix Restaurant. This restaurant is located in Xenia, Ohio. For a good dining experience, please visit this restaurant. We have two co-sponsors for this tournament. First one is the Law Office of Minu Sharma, which is located in Dayton, Ohio. She specializes in immigration law. Next, and the second one is Anderson Williamson Insurance Agency, which is located in Xenia, Ohio, and they have expertise in all forms of insurances. At this point, we would like to thank all our silver sponsors. So the list continues like this. The Winds Cafe from Yellow Springs, Texalt Solutions, Bever Creek Cricket Club, Maverick Cricket, Prames Chennai Delight, a restaurant in Centerville, Hometown Pharmacy, Crossroads Biryani and Grill, a restaurant in Fairborn, Ohio. A contribution came from Dr. Vipul Patel, who works in Springfield Healthcare Center. And contribution also came from Bombay Bazaar, which is an Indian grocery store in Centerville, Ohio. And just to mention, we also got sponsorship from Sriji Grocers in Bever Creek, Ohio. They are also uh, store for Indian groceries.